Well, and a wraparound porch that you get to see from all these different windows and doors. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be beautiful. But and again, a huge thing, we still haven't touched the inside of the house. Man, we made progress. So the last time we were here, we had a foundation. And that was not even a porn foundation. Yeah, I love seeing it now. Uh, this is so cool because of the uh, two sloped pitch on the roof. Doesn't it feel bigger now that the foundation is poured, actually? Well, now that the walls are up, it feels bigger. And yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is a and beautiful patio. And this is a nice little step up to the yard. And it keeps the Water. All the water going around the house instead of getting under the patio. Mm -hmm. Just like we had designed. Nice openings. That's that's that was one of our detailed videos. Yes. About how, you know, if you don't design this right, you've got things washing up onto the patio. Mm -hmm. So now they have a completely dry patio. And there's also really beautiful openings now because the kitchen is gonna be coming extended. Well, and a wraparound porch that you get to see from all these different windows and doors. Mm -hmm. That's going to be beautiful. But and again, a huge thing, we still haven't touched the inside of the house. So yeah. the only thing that... So that's kind of weird looking right to walk in and see this. Yeah. So but why is it still here? I want that gone. It would make it easier on us if it was gone, right? Well, yeah, but it would sure make it harder on the client because this is part of their kitchen right now. Exactly. So believe it or not, the kitchen comes here and then all that we had was a little patio, a little eight by 10 patio coming off here. And that was what they had. And then the family room was over there. What's this? Right now, that's mostly kitchen. No, but this is glued to it. Oh, well, we had to open it up to do the plumbing tie-ins to, oh, okay. to get the, the all in the new foundation because everything is going, the kitchen's now going to be up against this wall. Yeah. So we've already got our drain, and it's a temporary, you can see it's coming out of the wall. Mm -hmm. So that's a temporary drain so that it went around here and then back over here because eventually we're going to hook the sink up and it's going to cut that off and we're going to mount it right there. So it will eventually, this is where we want it to go in, but we did a, a routing around it a reroute, yeah. a reroute to get it here. And of course we had to close all this up and rain waterproof it. Yeah, so that's it's why really you, sealed. So that's why you see this, the, 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 the like sealant the on it caulk. and just it'll show that. And it, it'll show how we sealed up against the weather. This is, this is really important that whenever we have this, before this was all framed, before Clay closed it all in and made it watertight, well, we were gonna get water in this house. You can't just put a piece of plywood or OSB against the wall and expect it not to get water in. You have to seal it. Yep. Even even the openings down at the bottom where, where we have to make the foundations match, we're concerned about water getting in there too. So we seal those things up. And what you see now is after the fact that we've opened it all up. But this is going to go away. So what we're going to do is we're going to sheet rocket, get all the windows in, insulated of course, and then we take this down. So that means we're gonna have more sheetrock to do later. Yep. But we do it's, it in gonna, stages. it's going to give the kitchen use, uh, the, allow the client to use the kitchen even longer mm -hmm. and, and to be protected from the elements. Right now, we don't have the windows in yet. So if we had torn this down, the only thing that would be between them and the elements and the and critters the heat. and the heat would be a plastic wall or some temporary wall. Yeah. And this way, she is not disturbed at all while we're working out here. She's completely locked inside, safe. She still wants to come outside, so that's why she asked us to put that little temporary light, temporary motion sensor light up, so she can come out and look at it. But look how neat and clean it all is, and we've got it swept clean. So this is this is really really a good example of uh, of how you do this in stages in remodeling. Now in new construction, that's, you wouldn't do that. That's exactly what I was gonna say. That's the difference between hiring a remodeler to do your room addition versus hiring someone who does custom homes mainly to do your addition. This only is because we know how to not disturb our clients. Now, this is six or eight weeks worth of work mm -hmm. with rain delays, the the snow snowmageddon yeah. and, and everything <laughs> else that happened. But yep. The client hasn't been disturbed inside. 
No. She just was missing a little bit of her yard, but you know, no one was going in their yard during the snowmageddon. So, and I'm sure it's exciting to come out here, you know, they can still enjoy the space a little bit. And then get it's away cool from it. cool in here. And then get away from it completely. Yeah. So this is, this is the way to do it if you want clients to be happy. If you don't want them to be happy, just tear it all out. And make them tear hate you. Tear up their kitchen, make them hate you, and then critters will get in, skunks and squirrels and, and, and cold animals. and water will flow in when it rains because it ain't like this overnight. It doesn't no. look like this overnight. So this is a big difference. Yep. Well, uh, the next stage will be finished. You'll see it in its complete state and you're not even gonna recognize it because this triangular monstrosity is gone. <laughs>